Hello, happy Thanksgiving. I say happy Thanksgiving because the one thing that I absolutely love is Thanksgiving. Both Canadian, I'm Canadian, but I've also gotten into the American Thanksgiving since living in the US. If there is one time of year that is so exciting, it's Thanksgiving, it is, especially in America, it is the kickoff to the holiday season. So exciting, and get ready because I have some awesome stuff coming up this holiday season, especially for the new year. Lots of big changes and surprises. I've been working on for the past year um, that'll finally start to roll out in the new year, so I'm excited. But today, I want to get you super burned, super blasting, so that you do this workout either before your Thanksgiving meal, so that you have pretty much burned it off before you even begin, and no guilt, or the day after when you're feeling like an overstuffed turkey. We're gonna clear that right up. Um, so for this workout today, we have eight exercises. This is the ultimate. When people say they want ab workouts, they always say, I want ab workouts. This is the ultimate ab workout because ab workouts should really have bursts of cardio in there. It's cardio explosion with abs that are really gonna, yes, you can tone your abs, but if you don't shed that spare tire in front of them, you're not gonna see them very well. For this workout today, we are going to take, I would suggest a medium to light dumbbell. So I've got two to change it up here. One's a five pound, one's a 10 pound. If you don't have dumbbells at home, that is okay. You can grab, I actually usually use laundry detergent jugs when I am watching a DVD or video and don't have anything with me. Um, but anything heavy, a heavy book, whatever. Um, if you don't have, you can do body weight only. That's okay, just maybe go faster, go harder. Um, so first of all, if it's the first time through this as well and you're not used to doing weights, maybe try it without weight. So here are the eight exercises you're gonna do each for about 60 seconds with about a 10 to 15 second active recovery in between. To do this workout in real time, the full length with me, head over to fitstongandsexy.com where this workout and my whole library of workouts are, plus meal plans, fitness plans, giveaways. Come just be a part of the FSS community. <laughs> um, all right, so here we go. The first exercise, I call these wood choppers. Um, wood chopper, so grab your, your medium to light dumbbell and you're gonna bend, touch one foot, and then reach across, almost like you're chopping wood. So bend and reach across. You're gonna go one direction for 30 seconds. And then at 30 seconds, you're gonna switch directions and get the other side. So wood chop, and really reach and push. Nice job. Next exercise, we have a Superman push up. So you're gonna lay flat on your belly and you're gonna Superman arms and legs up, down, and then push up, down. Up, down, push up, down. That's it, we're getting our whole body today. And again, if you need to modify this, you can Superman and then push up onto your knees. Cool? All right, awesome. 60 seconds like that, so while it might start easy, it's gonna get really hard. Then we go into power V-ups. So, you're gonna lay down and up. Crunch it up, all the way down, crunch it up. All the way down, crunch it up. That's it. just like that. You can get a pretty good workout without the dumbbell as well. Then we go into dumbbell swings front and side. So, you're gonna take your dumbbell or your weights or your kettlebell or whatever you want and you're just going to swing it up. Don't use a lot of momentum here. It's really the power in your legs. Swing it up. Swing it side, and nothing too heavy here. You don't want to throw your back out on this. Just nice, throw it up. You don't want it to go higher than waist level. All about control here. So it's middle, side, side. 60 seconds just like that. Then we go into side kicks. So you're gonna kick one side, jump kick the other side. One side, jump kick. To modify these, you can just kick, kick, and again, try to kick high, but it's really not how high you kick, it's how hard you kick. If you can add that jump, it's a lot harder even than that. All right, next exercise, we go into standing dumbbell circles. You're gonna grab your weight, and go 30 seconds in each direction, you're gonna try to keep your whole torso straight, up overhead, and nice big circle. I'm going counterclockwise here. Nice big circle. Make it harder, look up, follow the weight with your eyes. 
and then switch directions. Nice job. Keeping those abs tight, all the core control here. Nice. Next exercise, boat pose. Sh boat, boat pose shifters. So for these, you're gonna come back onto your sit bones here, raise your feet up off the ground, and you're just going to twist as fast as you can, having that weight touch side, 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 side. That is 60 seconds, guys. That is a long time. So again, if, you, if this is your first time through it, try for 20 seconds, 30 seconds, build up to it. And then the very last exercise in these series are frog jumps. These are inspired by my nieces. They, they were the first, they actually do my workouts as well. We started them very young, as soon as they could walk. And they call these jumps frog jumps. We do all frog races all around the lawn. So think about how much fun you can have with these frog jumps. 60 seconds like that. So as you can see, we're really rotating between cardio and strength training. So you're really getting everything. Your body's working one way, and it's recovering another way, but it's still working. You're maximizing your time. Eight minutes, and you have a total cardio ab blaster. So make sure to join me for the full length workout. If not, I recommend getting an interval timer. Time yourself, there's a link below to the one that I use. Um, writing it out, printing it out. And make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see me back here next week and every week for all kinds of new fun stuff coming up. Happy holidays.